Welcome to today's tutorial and in this video I will be covering some of the most basic tools of Adobe Illustrator namely the pencil tools, the smooth tool and the path eraser tool and the shaper tool. Right, so these four tools are extremely easy to use and you can use these tools to make your illustrations. Right, so as you can see, I've already opened this A4 size document and given a name to my document as well called the pencil tools. So before I begin, I would like to remind you all to make sure that the essential classics options has been switched on from this drop down box below. Then only you will be able to see all these tools right here on your screen. So this Adobe Illustrator is one of the latest versions. So then in case if you have an older version, you may or may not be able to see the similar tools right here. Okay. So first things first, I'll start with the shaper tool. The shortcut key for this tool is shift plus N. So I'll click on this and what this tool does is that if you make a rough shape like that, this tool automatically recognizes what type of shape you're trying to make right so similarly let's make another shape like that and as you can see it's pretty rough and it doesn't really look very appealing but if you let go then it recognizes the shape that you're trying to make right so let me show you once again if we just click and drag our mouse like that on our document like that and there you go right so I'll come back to the selection tool and then if I individually if I click my shape you can see by default the fill of this shape is light gray so we can go ahead and change that and change the fill of our shape like that and of course change the stroke as well and let's change the stroke uh, stroke weight. So by default, the stroke weight is 1, which means that the stroke weight is extremely thin. So let's make it a little bit more thicker and change it to 4. And there you go. Similarly, let's go ahead and change, the, change this one as well. And that. And I'll... Let's make it more thicker like that and lastly this diamond I'll make it purple and bring it more thicker like that so I'll bring this up up here and let's move it around a little okay wait alright so now coming back to the second tool, I will be now working with the pencil tool right here. The shortcut key for the pencil tool is the letter N. So we click on that and if we make any type of squiggly shape or doodle like that. And there you go. You can see that after we've made a line, it automatically adds anchor points to our shape like that. So now in case if I want to edit this even further, we can easily do that by selecting the direct selection tool and clicking on one of these anchor points, right? So after that selected, I can now easily drag it down or drag it upwards or just play around with the handles as well like that so now also like the reason why you're seeing this line to have a thicker stroke is because the last shape that we dealt with with this diamond we had chosen the stroke value to be 9 so that's why the stroke value for this line as well is 9 Okay, so you can go ahead and change the stroke weight as well in case if you don't want it 
you don't want it to be this thick you can easily bring it down like that okay so I'll go ahead and select my line again and this time I'll choose the third tool called the smooth tool like that so what this smooth tool does is that if you just drag your mouse over to a corner it automatically smoothens out any rough edges like that yeah so I know you can't really see much happening but if you look carefully it actually does make some slight changes right so it makes makes it more much much more smoother and you can actually see that some of the anchor points are getting adjusted accordingly like that so but unfortunately you can't really change the size of this cursor it will it's going to remain this small right so this can be a little time taking and but you do require some type of patience to deal with this and yeah that looks good right so let's also change the stroke color of this black is a little boring right so we can easily choose the stroke color so instead of black we can choose it to be green and there you go all right so now I'll come back to this path eraser tool okay for that I will be first working with some of the shapes right here right I'll select the rectangle shape and you know like I'll just make some random shapes overlapping like that all right and I'll go back to the path eraser tool I'll zoom in on this so you can just drag your mouse over to the portions that you don't really require wait okay I'll have to select this go back to the path eraser tool and just move my mouse over to some of the areas that you I do not require and there you go as you can see the area that I had chosen that certain path gets deleted right so you can easily do that again so let's remove this another corner like that so let's also I'll show it to you again how you can use the path eraser tool let's select this bigger rectangle go back to the pathfinder path eraser tool and let's just select this middle portion right here so you just have to click and drag your mouse along with the path like that and there you go so this was the path eraser tool right so now let's go ahead and save our document to do that we'll go to file and click on save as so by default when we save our documents our file will be saved in this Adobe Illustrator file so this is by default so I highly recommend that we save our file in this format so that in case if I have to make any changes in my document I can easily access my AI file and then we can you know change the file name as well or let's just let it be the way it is and click on save all right so now that we've come to the end of our tutorial i hope you found this to be useful and with a little practice you will soon become more familiar with all these tools right here and that's about it so thank you for watching and keep practicing